Okay, here's a, another way that you could go about doing it. So I think your picnic sites, um, let's go back to the original. So you had single symbols, and yours probably looked like you know some smaller circle size or something like that. Let's just say it's something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cluster point. Point cluster and what it does is it counts like it sort of grab a bunch of points and then count how many there are so like in that area where there were two points five points seven points so those are picnic sites so there's seven picnic sites and when there's only one it means that there's like so you see the blue dot means there's only one so what you could do if I wanted to combine those two since they're really close is you can increase the distance a little bit but we're still left with some of these that you just you wouldn't want to keep increasing the distance you have to stop at some point because then it would be really not in the right spot so what we can do is we'd have to go back to where we were and and make those a similar color so the only way that i know how to do that is to go back to the single color and let's say we'll make this a little bit bigger. I didn't catch the size of the other one. So let's say it looks about a three, maybe a 3.5. I'm not exactly sure. So then what I want to do is to, we're going to change the color. So there's this button here. It says pick color and you get this little eyedropper and you can go over here to this um, and pick that exact same color so the marker matches. Right, so now all my match markers look like that. And then if we go back to the point cluster, we increase this to like a seven. And now at least we have all of these points are the same color now. I would say we still have to, we should have made this a little bit bigger. But nevertheless, um, you know, if you were really doing this cartographically, you'd have to put in a legend. So this, you could put a one there if you wanted to. You'd have to num a letter all of these. Otherwise, I think the reader would should understand that there's only one site there. But that's just another way to generalize, right? So we went from all those points to, you know, there were 17 points there in that area, and we went and generalized them to show that there are 17 picnic sites. So it's just another option. I still think the hexagon provides a little bit more flexibility, um, but nevertheless, this is another way to do it.